Sorry if I got some updates for you. <laughs> this injury is twisting and turning. It's uh, becoming a bit of a, a journey, shall we say. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. I was going to say Monday then, but no. I'll be talking about Monday. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back if you've been before. If you're new, hello, my name is Lucy. I've been on a running and weight loss journey since February 2020. Back then, I couldn't run for more than 30 seconds at a time. To cut a very, very, very long story short, <laughs> since then, I have become an ultra marathoner and I make the content that I was looking for way back then. Consider subscribing if you need a running buddy, but let's get into this weekly vlog. I have quite a big update. I say I have quite a big update, I'm being dramatic, but I went for a run yesterday. If you've seen my last weekly vlog and you watched till the end, cheeky. <laughs> For those who don't, <laughs> if you watched all the way through my weekly vlog last week, you would have seen that I went for a test run. The first run I've been on in three months. It was a run walk. The total amount of miles that I was actually running for was 2.75. If you want to see how it actually went and you haven't seen it, head over to that video. I will link it above. But my biggest concern was that the test wasn't necessarily the run and going out for a run. The test was how my Achilles and how my foot deals with it afterwards. What's going to happen afterwards? Straight after the run, it felt bruised, sore, but you know what? It feels like that a lot of the time. So I was actually quite happy with how it felt afterwards, even though it was painful. A couple hours later, it was still doing okay. It wasn't until we got to the evening, which usually is what happens to me anyway. The pain doesn't start properly until into the mid afternoon. And then in the evening, it's if it's gonna be at its worst, it will be then. That is what happened on that day. It got really bad in the evening and I was having conversations with Matt about potentially emailing my physio and letting her know how bad it was. But I was still in two minds because I just, I didn't know if, I don't know, I just I, I just didn't feel like it it was really painful, but I didn't feel like I was back at square one. I was close to it, but I wasn't back there. I think part of me is just so desperate to be okay that there is denial there. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I buried that, went to bed, <laughs> woke up in the night, I could not walk on it. I was in pain, it was throbbing, it was really, really painful and I just cried. I was in bed and I just <laughs> cried because it felt like everything had gone. All of, the, all of the time spent, all of the stretching and the strength training and just the, the not going and doing what I love for so long. It just felt like it was all for nothing and was I going to be sitting around for another three months? I didn't know. I still have no idea. I feel like yesterday was awful because I was given that glimmer of hope and I was given that life that I loved back for the day. I was out running. I was even vlogging it. I had a really, really good time and I wanted to stay out. I forced myself to come back in and I really loved it. I was in a really great mood for the rest of the day. I felt great. My skin felt great. Just going for a run and the blood pumping and the endorphins. It was just really good. Like the music blaring. I just felt so happy. It all came crashing down because I then was in a lot of agony. So it was like I was given a taster of what I love, but then I was brought right back to reality. I was very worried about how I was gonna feel in the morning, uh, this morning. I was going to send an email to my physio and let her know what was going on. But I woke up this morning and it's not too bad. It's nothing like it was in the night. I've just done the school run. It feels like warm if that makes sense so the area where it's achy it just feels like warm so there's like a sensation there that it's it is aching and there is an issue there i i know it definitely feels worse than it did before i ran on it but at the same time that is going to be kind of expected i'm assuming now i'm not in enough pain today to warrant sending an email and getting my physio to squeeze me in i don't believe so i'm going to see how today goes i'm going to see how it ends up tonight i'm obviously not going to run today i'm going to keep stretching i'm going to literally just do the school run and try and stay off my feet and just see how it goes today to really gauge how it's doing after that run. But that is my Tuesday update. <laughs> it's not a brilliant one, but it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be last night. It was really painful last night and I felt awful. Like in my head, I was like, I'm, I'm not gonna be doing a run with me. I'm not gonna be running again. I'm, 
that's it. I promised everyone that I'd do a run with me and I was like, I'm not going to be able to do that. But this morning, if all things, if things go well, I could potentially get a run with me done in a couple of days. So cheers to that. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. I hope you can hear me because I'm out the house and I didn't bring my mic with me. So hopefully this wind isn't gonna to be too annoying. Yesterday didn't turn out to be a great day for me. Not for any running reasons or anything like that. Just one of these things when you're a parent and because I'm not a parent vlogger, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, but it's all sorted now, everything's absolutely fine. We have gone out for a family dog walk, although my family is all the way over there at the moment <laughs> but the real reason why i'm saying hello is because obviously it's wednesday it's a new day and the update on my foot is that it is really really sore i'm gonna say maybe seven out of ten today so it doesn't warrant an email to my physio still it also doesn't feel like it would be comfortable to run on today i'm potentially gonna run on it tomorrow if not tomorrow then definitely friday but it, you know what, as I'm walking along now, it feels fine. It doesn't feel too painful. I'm not concerned. I think I was predicting that once I'd run on it, it was gonna be awful. And because it was so painful on Monday night, after I ran on it, I kind of confirmed it in that moment that it was gonna be terrible. So, because it's not been as bad as that since, it has, well, it hurt less since. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised. I've now made the decision that I will run on it one more time before I see her again, Monday coming. Or potentially my last shockwave, we'll see, we'll see. But for now, I'm out the house for an evening dog walk because Matt didn't get a chance to run Storm, so this is, this is what happens sometimes. <laughs> got back from the school run this second <laughs> and I just wanted to have a chat say hi so happy Friday let's get the kettle on and we'll have a catch up that's better <laughs> happy Friday I don't know if I've already said that but happy Friday I've been getting really bad like brain fog recently I think I think my hormones are really really kicking my butt at the moment uh, and they need to settle fast it's Friday and I'm in a really really good mood <laughs> I, know I sound really surprised when I say that but I am I'm in a really really good mood and that is because of the progress that I'm feeling with my foot it's honestly pure positivity is coming from me right now I know that could change trust me I know but I, I just feel like the past three months if you've been following blah, blah, if you've been following along on my weeklies I've obviously been also we're joined by Eeyore <laughs> then you would know that everything has been like really negative and of course it has I've been injured and I've not really been able to properly treat it so it's just so nice to have at least patches of positivity in this vlog and the last vlog was positive as well that's the great thing about documenting and vlogging is you can look back if you've ever thought about picking the camera up and doing some vlogs even if it's not to put online like definitely do it because it's for the memories i, I love it for the memory we've gone on family holidays and we've had like days out and i've just vlogged as if i was vlogging for my channel obviously i wouldn't put them online because they're just for matt my daughter and i to look back on but the situation i'm in this morning i've woke up and it feels awesome my foot feels great 
again it doesn't feel completely healed <laughs> it is like a two out of ten so we're very very close to not having any pain there at all i would even be tempted to give it potentially a one out of ten but pushing it one out of five i'm talking pain level by the way <laughs> so this morning it feels brilliant and like looking back the mornings they generally feel okay but when i say generally feel okay i feel so much better than okay i feel great that is awesome progress and it reinforces the idea that we've definitely found where the injury is and i will obviously be getting her to treat there again on monday now i was going to run on it yesterday because i'm seeing my physio on monday yesterday was thursday and my thought process was if i'd have run on it yesterday then i would have had more time to recover from that run by monday when i see her but i had a horrible headache yesterday i was nearly at like migraine station i didn't quite get to a migraine but i it was horrible <laughs> i text matt and i was like man i just don't feel well and he came back with two different types of paracetamol because he didn't know which one would be better <laughs> He was on it honestly i could have cried i was so happy i just was so ill i couldn't even get myself in the car to drive i didn't feel well at all he um he came home and he dropped those off for me and he actually sorted me out thankfully that's why i didn't get out for a run yesterday that's okay because if i run today then i've got saturday and sunday to focus on how my foot's doing after that run because she does want me to test it at the end of the day i've only run once and it would have been two weeks since i've last seen her so I do feel like I want to run on it again because I feel like I can and I'm really really happy with that because when I ran on the first time in my head I was like if this is really painful then I can't run again it's just going to be one and done and I'm not going to be running again for like another three months but <sighs> touch wood <laughs> I feel brilliant and I feel like I could run on it again so and I think two runs in two weeks if we're going easy on ourselves that's that's decent isn't it so Yes, I feel like I really just went off on one there. <laughs> the issue I have though, I haven't run in three months, so I'm not in the um, habit of charging my watch. My watch is dead. <laughs> you don't run and you have a Garmin, that battery lasts forever. And I think in the three months, I've probably only charged it like maybe four times. <laughs> Maybe not just four, but it feels like it. I need that to be charged. And I obviously want to vlog. I want to do a vlog. So I'm going to charge up my phone as well because I'm going to do it on my phone. And I need to make sure that's charged. I also ordered a coat last night for next day delivery. I'm not sure what time that's going to come. So I'm also constantly tracking when my new coat is going to arrive. <laughs> and that's my Friday. That is my Friday, guys. Cheers to that. <laughs> just got to tesco because i told my daughter that we can make cupcakes today that is what she requested <laughs> she's um at the park with matt at the moment so i'm just heading off to get some bits that we need i only brought one bag with me and while i was driving here a list appeared in my mind so um yeah maybe i can get it with one bag if not i'll just have to get another one <laughs> yesterday i filmed a run with me and I went on a run. I actually ran a little bit further than I finished the vlog on. Instead of just like walking through the houses back home, I just decided to do a little bit of extra running and I rounded it up to a 5k. Obviously the last time I ran was Monday and like I was telling you before, it didn't end very well on the day and then the next day it was really painful and I thought, testing it again yesterday on Friday, I was gonna have the same thing. It, nowhere near nowhere near as painful it was painful last night after the run absolutely nowhere near i wasn't getting up in the night in tears i was absolutely fine i really wasn't thinking about it too much it just was really sore to walk on the ironic thing about this morning is my right foot is actually a little bit sore but i think it, i must have like landed funny on it because 
I can't really like walk properly on it. Like in the top of my foot, I think I've like the muscle is like really tight. I'm obviously not concerned about it. I know I've just trod funny. Um, but I am having to walk a little bit different this morning, but it's not because of my Achilles, it's because I've just landed funny and my other foot's playing me up. <laughs> I feel fantastic. I mean I don't feel completely cured, obviously, but Compared to how I felt the day after, so on Tuesday, I feel incredible. Like, if I was to give the pain at a 10, 3, and I ran on it yesterday, I, I am on the mend, and it's blowing me away. I'm so, so happy. Right, but I'm going to get into Tesco. Um, and that is my update. <laughs> Got all of the baking essentials that I need. This... The eggs were the main reason for coming. But look at the bag. I got myself a new little shopping bag. It was like £1.75. Gone are the days where I impulse buy like cool things. No, I'm in my 30s and I impulse bought an autumnal shopping bag. <laughs> this, this brings me joy, okay? No judgment here. We're all friends. You get it. Happy Sunday quick check yes it's sunday the foot update for today wait when did i run i didn't run yesterday i ran the day before and this morning i felt absolutely fine I felt great two out of ten maybe even a little bit less than two out of ten pain wise it's now half past two and the pain it's it's like aching a bit like i can feel my achilles um aching basically <laughs> and i can feel a little bit of niggles down the side but it honestly I'm absolutely fine. I don't have to wear my trainers with like any insoles. I've got my slippers on, I'm walking fine. I'm not concerned. I even thought earlier, I would be quite happy to go for a run. And if I wasn't seeing my physio tomorrow, I probably would be very, very tempted to get my trainers on and go. But obviously because I'm seeing her tomorrow, I don't think it's a good idea. I'm just thinking in my head, like why would it not be a good idea? Why do I not want to go? <laughs> but just in case, because I'm having the shockwave treatment tomorrow, just in case I'm not gonna run on it. That's why, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm feeling really, really good. I've got everything loaded in my head, ready as to what I'm gonna say to her. So I'm just, honestly, this is probably the most positive response I've had from the treatment this whole time. This is the most positive section of the recovery I've had throughout this whole thing. And I'm so, so happy. And I'm actually, I'm actually, just grateful i'm more grateful than i am happy that this is actually working and i'm actually starting to get better i did convince myself a long time ago that this is the worst thing that could have happened and it's gonna be maybe like a 12 month situation but i cannot i just i'm so grateful that it's not looking like that's going to be the case and i'm finally finally getting to see some really good results it's just really really bad to be working it's so hard doing the physio like not doing the running it's been in pain every single day it's hard it's draining and mentally like just not having anything to go off of you know patience patience and perseverance and consistency just like it was in the beginning of my running and weight loss journey i didn't see instant results I didn't, I had to just believe that I was on the right track, even though everything was telling me I wasn't because I wasn't losing a load of weight right at the beginning. I wasn't getting a ton of progress. It took months and months of hard work. It, honestly, it took me like 10 months maybe to actually see progression. <laughs> it's exactly the same here. Patience, consistency, perseverance, and belief that you will get through this and you don't need signs to prove it. You just need to keep going and it will happen when it happens. Um, I had no choice but to carry on because I was in pain anyway. So I'm talking as if it's all over. It's not over yet. <laughs> I have to see what my physio says. But for the end of this weekly vlog, I am so positive, so happy, blessed. I, I, yeah, I can't even put it to words like, yes a huge thank you for all of your love support care like my videos are reaching the people that i could have only dreamt that they would reach i am 
so unbelievably lucky to have the best running buddies i honestly i get so excited to have an upload because just seeing everything that you guys say in the comments it blows me away like honestly the support the kindness unreal and you guys have made a huge <laughs> difference for me during this time during this journey and i just want to thank every single one of you for sticking around you're still here <laughs> even though i haven't been running you're still here so yes that is me being soppy out the way i am hopefully going to get a lot more run with me's done fingers crossed nothing bad happens and i didn't think i was going to be running for a, a long time so i'm gonna get some more ideas in my head as to maybe what i want to do i'm thinking quite far ahead for that though because obviously i need to build my fitness back up <laughs> but if anybody remembers runmus what are we thinking would we be up for that again this year if i was able to do it let me know in the comments below because it is something I would love to do again. I love to do Rummus. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there is a playlist on my channel, 12 Days of Rummus. It was a little running challenge that I set myself for December, not last year, year before. So let me know if you would be up for that. If the stars align, if everything falls perfectly into place, I could potentially start planning that and I would be so excited to do that. Like so excited to do that. Obviously not gonna make any promises, but um, if you could give this video a thumbs up, it would help. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you are in need of a virtual running buddy, I might actually be able to get running with you. And for this week, I'm gonna love you and leave you with a big positive smile on my face. <laughs> I will see you guys soon for some more, hopefully positive updates. Bye guys.